I haven't seen David in about 30 years. At this point, I don't call David my dad. I definitely feel like I missed out and that there's a void from not knowing my biological father. I do feel like he did abandon us. I think my dad is ready to make amends for mistakes he's made in the past. I do have low expectations in reconnecting with my father. I am worried David will disappoint us again. My guard is up just because of past disappointments. Well, Jenny, Amanda, Marie, and Elizabeth say they have a sisterly connection despite being raised in completely different environments. The common denominator for these young women is their dad, David. Take a look. I have four daughters. Currently, none of them are in my life. About eight months ago, I got a call from a girl and she explained to me that she was my daughter. I was very surprised. I knew her mother and that we had had relations. I had no idea that Amanda existed. Her mother never told me, and she never told her who the father was. When I met her, I knew she was my child. When I was 17, I had met Marie and Beth's mother. We were just way too young and not ready for a relationship, much less parenthood. It was a rocky marriage. Then she had met somebody else. We got divorced, she got remarried. Marie and Elizabeth's mother pressured me to sign over custody to her and her new husband. And I did it at the time because I was trying to get into the Air Force and not having dependents was one of the criteria for me to get in. I regret not staying in better contact with them. I love Marie and Beth very much. Several years after I met Jenny's mother, she got pregnant. For most of Jenny's life, I was involved. I was her father. We did everything together. She was daddy's girl. After 18 years of marriage, got divorced when Jenny was about 12. We've grown apart since then. I haven't seen Jenny in almost two years. Every day I think about all four of my daughters. I've always wondered how they're doing, are they happy? People have asked me, why do you want to do, Dr. Phil? I don't so much want to do it as it would be wrong not to do it. Well, we've got the missing piece of this DNA puzzle, the father of these four ladies. So come on out, David. How are you, sir? Hey, Dr. Phil. Good to meet you. You've met and or <laughs> been around to some degree or another all four of yes. your daughters. Yes, sir. What did you think when you found out about Amanda? I could always use somebody that loves me. Were you totally shocked? Or oh, yeah. yeah I was. Uh, you I you had, I had no, no idea. idea. No, no, sir. But you, you obviously had a relationship with her mother to some degree. Relation, one time. I know that's all it takes, but. How long did you know her? She was in the same high school with me. And she never told you that she was? No, no, I had no idea. With child, she never said anything? No. She's been jerked around a lot. At least she can be given the truth. Yeah. You know yourself better than anybody else. What should she expect from you? I love all of my girls. I need to find a way to connect with all of them uh -huh. and let, let them know I'm here and I love them and think about them every day. What I'm concerned about is, is how everybody affects everybody. Uh -huh. And I think the best predictor of future behavior is relevant past behavior. And we ask you, David, wh what, what kept you from being more active in your children's lives? And you said, well, you signed over custody of Elizabeth and Marie because it was required by the Air Force to have no dependents to enlist. Really? In my case, they, I could not have any dependents. Wow. They, yeah. It wasn't my choice to be apart from Marie and Elizabeth. Um, Elizabeth and Marie's mom moved away and cut off contact. You said, you know, it's easier to forget and move on. Their mother had remarried and seemed like they had a, I didn't want to intrude on their life. Jenny pushed me away. Jenny asked to call ahead if I were seeing grandbabies. Wasn't about to make an appointment. So you're actually kind of a victim in all this. I'm not trying to come across as a victim, uh, right or wrong, it's just. What, what do y'all think about what's being said? I just remember waiting, and I understand that we never got to hear your side of the story. 